Hello from SlideNerd and hello from Weaves. What's up folks? In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create a list view with icons just like the one you see over here on the left side. Now obviously the icons are static, they are the same icons across all the rows, alright? So let's go and start making this stuff and try to understand how it works. I've already had a nice discussion about adapters, how they fetch data from your uh, data sources and create a view out of that and that view is provided to your list view or grid view, right? So if you guys have not seen that video, please go back and check it out about what is an adapter in my playlist. But here, let me let me talk about the array adapter. The array adapter assumes that a single row is represented by a text view. This is the default behavior. But of course, you can uh, customize this by extending it. Give it the context. Give it the appearance for a single row or child view. And give it a data source. These are the only three things that you need to give to an array adapter. The context as you guys remember is the object that has the reference to all the resources in your app. Appearance for a single row. Now in the last videos whenever I talked about this part I always used to have something like android.r.layout.simple.list.item1 something like that. That was nothing but a predefined layout by android which contained a single text view. But here I'm gonna make my own layout for a single row and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So how to display these icons in the list view? Step 1. Define the single row appearance in a separate layout file. The single row as you guys notice will contain this image view over here which contains our icon and it will contain the text view which shows Sunday over here right. Define the adapter to use that layout and also define the data source. Now for example Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday all these elements you see they are going to be placed in an array which is going to be our data source and our adapter is going to use this layout and map the data from this data source into this single row. Step 3. Define what happens once the list view has been clicked. Alright, so these are the three steps we have. Pretty simple and straightforward. Let's see how this works. So one more, so we'll, uh, just to give you a small idea of which constructor we are going to use here. The array adapter constructor is going to be something like this. We need four things. One, the context. Two, the appearance for a single row. Three, the ID of the text view where the data is to be displayed. Now remember, you have the data inside an array, that's obvious, but your Android app or your adapter does not know exactly where the data is to be displayed inside which view inside your custom layout for a single row. So you have to specify the ID of a text view so that the adapter knows, okay, the data from this array needs to be displayed inside this text view inside your layout file, all right? So that is the third step which is very important. So let's go to the Android Studio and actually get this plane flying. Alright, so here I'm inside Android Studio. There's nothing great. There's just a Whips app project which is completely empty at this point. Alright, I have this activity underscore main.xml which again contains nothing. So let me go to the design view. Go to the container section. Put a list view here at the top left. Go back to the text. And as you guys can see, there's a list view with an ID that says ID at the rate slash list view. All right. So at this point, things are done pretty basically. Uh, we go to the layout section here. Here, we need to create another layout file, which is going to only define how a single row appears. If you guys remember, in our case, we have an icon and we have a Sunday written near it, right? So that is an image view and a text view. And we need to put that here. So for the layout part, I'm going to right click. I'm going to say new. I'm gonna say layout resource file. I'll call this single underscore row. All right, click OK. Go to the text part over here. It has uh, created the single underscore row dot XML with a linear layout inside, which has an orientation of vertical. I'm gonna change that into horizontal orientation. I'm gonna go back to the design tab over here, and now we need two things. One is the image view on the left, and then is the plain text view, which is gonna be a large text to the right of this image view. Now if you guys notice, you probably won't see anything because for the image view, I have not specified the source. I'm going to go here. I'm going to say source at the rate probable IC underscore launcher. I'm going to use the same default uh, icon which you have. But in your case, if you want to put a different icon, you can go ahead, put that inside this drawable folder and then you can use it right here. All right. So there you go. That's perfectly good looking. For this part which says large text, I'm going to, well, remove that part. Because remember, the adapter is going to dynamically put data inside this Android text attribute at one time, alright. So for now, let's just remove that part and keep it empty. At this point, we're almost done. 
you go to our activity underscore main.xml it's having a list view and here our single row.xml contains the image view and the single item description right so let's go to the main activity first step let's define the data source all right so this string array that you guys can see over here which is called data is gonna contain my seven days sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday and so on all right so next thing i need to do is to get a reference to the list view inside my code so that i can define what happens after the list view has been clicked right so i'm gonna say list view i'm gonna go inside my on create method initialize this by saying l equals to find view by id r dot id dot probably give an error at this point saying blah 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 incompatible types press alt enter cast that to a list view and we are done the array adapter now the most important part that we have been waiting you guys have been waiting for right here i'm gonna make an array adapter of type string call that adapter object over here new array adapter now there are four parameters now here if you guys notice i'm gonna use this fourth constructor which has the context a resource which is gonna be my uh, uh, layout file a text view resource id all right so let's do that so here i'm gonna say this for the context next step i'm gonna specify the layout which is gonna be r dot layout dot single row this is gonna be the layout file which contains the description of a single row in my app right and then this is what the adapter needs then you also need to tell your adapter that from the array when it takes the data out where should it put it it should put it inside the text view whose id is r.id.text view all right and then ultimately our data source which is going to be data pretty clear you have the context first then you have the description for a single row that contains the image view and the text view then if you see this is our data which is the array itself and this third parameter is exactly where the data should be put inside which text view and that's what you need to tell over here so at this point we're almost done we need to just go ahead say l dot set adapter and adapter right well so that's it there's nothing great other than this just go and run this at the top all right there you go folks take a good look you have your icon sunday icon monday and so on right so what exactly happened what your array adapter did was very simple it took this data source all right then it said okay this is sunday where do i put this sunday it said okay r dot id dot text view where is this thing it went here and it said okay i should put the sunday inside this text view whose id is at the rate id text view all right and then it saw this image view and it said okay fine and then it wondered how it, it should represent a single row for that it saw this r dot layout dot single row and said okay a single row should appear like this having this image view and this text view where the text goes inside this right and that's how things work pretty simple right i have not added the on click listener so if you click on the item in the list view right now nothing happens but you guys can go ahead and do that because i've already showed you how to do that right so if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next bit have a nice day